May 22nd of 04. Fred was doing a project in the backyard. There was an explosion. Fred was hit in the head, thrown back, and very, very seriously injured. Our son rushed in to call 911, followed their instruction. Our two sons saved their father's life. Fred was brought by helicopter to um, University of Pennsylvania Hospital. All of our family and friends gathered around to pray and support us, and which was a great blessing because it was a frightening time. Without their love and support, we would have been struggling even more. It was 13 days before we knew that Fred was going to make it. So the next big hurdle for Fred was to start responding. A very positive sign would be Fred, if Fred could respond to a verbal command. About three and a half weeks after the accident, our oldest daughter was talking to her dad, who was in a coma, but she was saying, Dad, can you hear me, Dad? I want you to move your thumb, Dad. Please move your thumb for me. And after about a half an hour, Fred moved his thumb. Our um, daughter Carolyn was with her dad in the gym, and she said, Dad, I just know that there's a word on the tip of your tongue. Come on, Dad, try to say hi. Dad, try it, try it. And Fred said, hi. Well, we started crying and we're jumping up and down, and everyone in the gym was so happy that Fred could speak. For a while after Fred's accident, I thought, will he even remember that he's married? Will he recover enough to remember that we've had 28 great years of marriage? Then Fred said, hi, Lori, I love you. Well, that was like, you know, I'm crying and I'm so thankful. And about a week later, Fred said, you are so good to me. He whispered that. And I cannot, cannot even put into words how much that meant to me. When we got discharged from Bryn Mawr Rehab, the therapist said, have you heard about the Fighting Back program? And our neighbor, actually, raved about the Fighting Back program. I met Fred Pierce like I meet any other client that comes to Fighting Back. Uh, he came in, did an IC, came from Bryn Mawr Rehab, uh, and got started. Uh, some significant injuries. Uh, pretty incredible story. So between those two recommendations, we came here, Fred was interviewed. The general atmosphere of encouragement and levity. <laughs> the fun atmosphere this provided with the kidding around. Well, Noah brings out a lot of humor. Kind of brings out the best, I think, certainly in Fred, and um, he's made tremendous strides. He for Villanova. He established a system of communication where hands out meant no and uh, thumbs up meant yes. Fred had a brace. He was standing by the bed with the two therapists and my help, and that was thrilling because Fred's big dream was to stand someday and hopefully walk again. One, two, three. And that hasn't quite happened yet, but we don't know what the future holds. But, you know, we continue to work very hard. Fred is fighting and working to give himself his life back. Push, push, push. You were pushing hard. Yeah, you did a good job. Great like I said, today was the first day we did uh, three stuff. Fred, despite his physical limitations, was very good at showing people how much he cared about them. He very carefully selects his words because it's an effort for him to put it out there. When I first came, my left arm was paralyzed. Then I work here with Noah. Came out of paralysis. Now you move it a lot. The consistency of coming a few times a week, the community of support that's here in the Fighting Back program, the good example of other people with disabilities who are working hard with their trainers, it has been phenomenal for Fred.